Hello, welcome back. This is going to be a rather chill journaling session with me. Um, it is currently approaching 2 in the morning. Should I be filming and editing and uploading a video at 2 in the morning? Probably not, but um, I, I refuse to skip my Sunday uploads. And the reason why I filmed this so late is because we literally just wrapped up the gender reveal and baby shower party, so I wanted to wait until everything was done before um, writing everything in and making all of my doodles. So this morning, I wrote down my usual to-do list underneath and just um, created the base for everything. So I put down this Winnie and Friends washi tape from my shop up top because um, that was like the loose theme of this party. And I'm also on this like no added sugar challenge thing. So for the other days, it's completely like no added sugar. Um, but for today, I made it mostly no added sugar just because I didn't really want to deprive myself of like the yummy cakes and desserts that I don't typically have. But the reason why I'm kind of on this no sugar thing is because I have just been eating so many chocolates <laughs> every night and, and I've been getting some bad breakouts. So I don't know. I just felt like kind of cutting off sugar for just a little bit and see if that helps with anything. Anyways, um, moving on to the actual journaling portion, underneath my morning entry, I lettered in gender reveal and baby shower, and I kind of journaled about the party in chronological order. So this first entry is about the delivery. I decided to use watercolors to make all of my doodles, and I literally just did a blob of green because we had this um, grape and oolong tea cake and the center of the cake was just all green grapes and then the outside was basically a very pale cream color. Currently I'm just letting the watercolor section dry so that is why it's looking a little bit strange right now but I will go back in and fill in all of the details. Um, but yeah, basically the cake was supposed to come at 11.45 to 12.45, but then it was already around like 12.30 and I hadn't gotten any communications about the cake being picked up for delivery or anything, so I started getting a little bit worried and after a few back and forth emails, um, apparently the driver just, I don't know, made an error or something and the cake ended up arriving at 1.30, so a little bit later than I wanted to, but that's okay. And it was perfect because I made this gender reveal party not very traditional looking, so it's not like pink and blue, but I decided to just make it green slash yellow, so it's pretty gender neutral. And grapes happen to be my sister's favorite fruit, and when I saw this green grape cake, I was like, this is absolutely perfect for this party. So I'm very pleased with that. And then once again, I just used my watercolors and painted in a whole bunch of blobs. This is supposed to represent some of the food that was served. Um, and again, I am just letting it dry so that later on I can draw on top of it with my pen. If you ever feel intimidated about getting started with watercolors, especially in your planner, I highly recommend this method of just honestly making random blobs of color that kind of makes sense and just using your pen to draw in all of the details. It doesn't have to be perfect as long as the color is somewhat accurate and the shape of the blob is also somewhat accurate, then you're all good. And then after writing in a few more things and I let the initial green blob to dry, I'm now going over it with my Tombow Fidenoske brush pen to draw in all of the cream piping and also the green grapes in the middle. But yeah, um, I also found this catering service in Vancouver and I heard really good things about them, so I put together a menu for them to deliver and it was amazing. I got a mixture of like scones, um, veggies, salads, little tea sandwiches, quiches, and the main course, I guess, was the tacos. It was an absolute hit, and I'm super, super happy with how it all came together. I also, of course, got some desserts, 
So um, we had a black sesame miso tart and a hazelnut linden fog cream puff. It was just absolutely divine. Also some chia pudding. Um, and then my sister also found this local restaurant, I think, that makes lumpia, uh, which is like a Filipino dish. And that was really, really good as well. So when it comes to journaling these special days, I don't focus on writing down every everything that happened and everything that I felt. Although if that's something that you like to do, that's totally cool. Um, for me, I typically like to just write down the main big things, especially things that went wrong, like for example, the deliveries, um, funny stories. And then I focus a lot on the food. And I think it's mostly because food appeals to a lot of our senses. You know, there's a sight, there's a taste, a smell, texture, all of that. And so I feel like when I go back to my spreads and read all of my old entries, if I see the food that we had at a certain special occasion, I'm just like a little bit more reminded and immersed of that event. So to me, these little doodles are a lot more meaningful than just like writing down all of my feelings and reading back on them in the future without much context. Also, I don't really plan my spacing when I do my journaling spreads. So in this particular case, the end of the entry is a little bit more squished, which you will see later. Um, but I basically keep in my head the main sections that I want to address. So before I got started, I knew that I wanted to write a paragraph about the delivery and I wanted to write a paragraph dedicated to the food and then another paragraph obviously talking about the gender of the baby and the reveal itself. Um, and then I just kind of keep that in the back of my head, but I don't fully plan out exactly what I'm going to do. And yes, that'll result in some things being squished at times, but that's okay. So currently I'm just writing down the menu of the food. Um, I went back to the invoice of the catering company just to make sure that I jot everything down correctly. And then of course I had to draw in some emojis and extra little doodles. Um, and then after that, I started doodling my sister and David. My sister wore this really pretty dress and David wore a yellow t-shirt. So again, the theme was like roughly uh, green and yellow and also Winnie the Pooh. So this baby is our family's first grandchild. And it's really cool because David does not have any siblings. Um, and my sister only has me as her sibling, so I am the only aunt in the family. There's no other uncles nor aunts, so I feel, I honestly feel very, very special to take on this, this title. Obviously, for my parents and David's parents, this is also their first grandkid, so yeah, this baby is going to be very, very, very well loved by all of us, and I am so excited. And I already knew the gender going into this party, but um, I have been keeping it a secret. It honestly wasn't difficult for me to keep it a secret because whether it was a girl or boy, it didn't really matter to me. Um, I would I would love them regardless. So yeah, yeah, I just opened the envelope and I saw that it was a boy and I was like, okay, cool. Um, it was a 50-50 thing anyways, so I'm just as excited. And now that I've revealed that it's going to be a boy, I am so excited to keep you updated on my future nephew. Anyways, to end off today, I decided to write down my evening to-do list on this really cool sticky note. Sticky note. It's like a sticky note in the shape of a sticky note. <laughs> um, and I was sent this by a customer in Australia, which is super, super sweet. Again, I probably shouldn't be working this late after such a long day, but I do have some things to catch up on. So this, these four items are my evening to-do list. 
So thank you for tuning in on this um, rather informal video. I hope you enjoyed it and I do hope it inspires you to perhaps whip out some watercolors and do little doodles in your planner as well. Thank you for watching and I will see you next week. Bye!